This is one of the very few products you're going to find in our industry that was actually developed by the people that use it every day. When we're burying fiber optic cable, we use this thing in all these different ways I've told you about. What we've also discovered is that the Rural Electric and Electric companies also are some of the biggest customers we have with this trailer, even though that they don't figure eight cable, what they do is roll up overhead wire or underground, whatever they're doing to haul it, they have found that our trailer is a very profitable device for them. Uh, it saves them time in handling their cable reels. It saves them time in rolling up their overhead wire rather than to use their other attachments like their digger trucks or whatever else it is that they're using to roll up wire or cable. We've added auxiliary hydraulics on the trailer because of all the hand tools that are hydraulically driven from their digger trucks and all the other work they do with their with their tools. We have a dumpster that we use. The power companies that are our customers generally invest in one of these dumpsters. It's used very much for rocking in poles and soft ground, hauling gravel in and covering in the post holes. One of the other things we've we've developed for the power industry is when they're rolling up their overhead wire that they've dropped down on the ground, they need a guide to put that back on that reel safely so that they don't get caught up in the, in the cable handling. What we've done is we've developed a hydraulic driven level winding device is what we call it. We also have developed a remote control system for the power industry. They stressed interest in us of having a hands-free option on this cable trigger simple problem we just contacted our hydraulic engineers and put a remote control system on the trailer so that they can operate the trailer completely hands-free in the event of electrical charge or anything getting into hot wires they can be completely at a safe distance away and still operate the trailer completely also with the power companies we've developed a tension brake now this can also be used in the aerial applications with fiber because they need to hold a little tension on the reel as they're stringing it overhead to keep the wire from sagging down into an intersection. That can also be used in the power industry when they use it for maintenance situations. I would never claim that this is a tension trailer. There are certain trailers for that and in big, in big construction projects, that's what's used. Now this is not that. In maintenance situation where you need to go over one or two driveways, this system works great. The side roller is another device that we developed for the power company. We found that several times they pull in an alley and they have to pull their wires off at a 90 degree angle. We've conquered this with a simple device that we put in the receiver hitch or on the front of the trailer. We just place a roller up there they can take the cable off of the reel, around the roller, make their 90 degree turn, and the roller will allow them to pull the cable at any angle they wish to pull it. Most of the rural electric associations now, if they need to do the framing of poles in their building line, they'll use their digger truck with their linemen, with their hydraulic tools. What they do is they use a digger truck to lift up the pole so they can frame it, put all the hardware on there, and use all their hydraulic tools to frame the pole. What some of our customers have done is taken their temporary employees, put them with the cable trailer, with the hardware on the trailer, and they've used the reel rack to lift up the pole, the auxiliary hydraulic ports to operate all of the tools, the drills, the impact wrenches that they use to frame the poles. And they use our trailer with their temporary people for the framing process, which frees up the digger truck and the lineman to be placing the poles behind it. Helps them make, make the system much more efficient. In this situation where these power companies buy this, we also supply the trailer to them with dielectric fluid in the hydraulic system 
so that if they change the tools from the di insulated digger truck to the cable trailer and back to the digger truck or the insulated boom, they haven't contaminated the hydraulic systems in their insulated trucks. The power industry also has the need for four small reels rather than large reels. That's why we put arbor hooks halfway down on the reel, reel racks. This allows the power companies and or cable TV companies with smaller reels to load multiple reels on the trailer and they're self-loading. So the power company can get four small reels, two medium-sized reels, or one large reel. We've also had one customer come back and show us how they can use it to push their rotter through a manhole system. We've developed a fiber optic blowing kit to go along with the cable trailer. What we do in there is we simply put an air block behind the fig figure eighting device so that we can feed the air block with the figure eighting tires off of the cable reel and we can blow fiber optic cable through the interduct systems. We have been very successful with several of our customers getting five to 8,000 feet with this simple blowing block. We have also found that this works very well with the microfibers. We can blow microfiber using the same device. One of the things we discovered in the fiber optic blowing business, we run into several situations where we've got to blow thousands of feet through a short run of interduct, which causes us to need to put more lubricant in the pipe to get all this extra cable through there. What we've done is developed a, what we refer to as an auto luber. We put a quick coupler and a check valve on there so that we can pump fiber blowing lubricant into the pipe as we're blowing it. We don't have to stop the blower during this process. When we got into the fiber blowing portion of the cable trailer, what we discovered right away was sometimes we blow off the trailer, which works great if the blower is right behind it. However, sometimes we end up blowing off of a figure eight pot. So what we developed was a, what we refer to as a flex pole to mount the figure eighting device on, which allows us to position the figure eighting device in almost any position we would need it when we're trying to get to the right angle to blow the fiber optic cable back into the interduct system off of the figure eight pile. We found that in figure eighting cable through town, a lot of times we're figure eighting around corners. The guy on the trailer is not able to see the guy on the figure eighting pile might be several blocks away and around the corner with the remote control system, the operator of the trailer can position himself in a way where he can watch both operations so we can safely figure out that cable and not have to rely on radios or remote control to stop in a moment's notice.